in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you. Leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house. Show me how you will ever build a ministry. Show me how you will ever build a business. It will, it will so shock you. Take God away. That is a, a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted. But bring him into the equation. And he will cause it to tremble before you. Now the thing is men don't see him. They see only you. So they think you are the one doing it alone. It's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him. And say look I know you saw only one person walking but we are two. And actually I'm only the second of the two not the first. There is one in front of me. I am a product of his wisdom. I am a product of his leadership. There is this treasure, he says, in earthen vessels, that the excellency of power might be of God, not of the vessel. Please repent from this unnecessary, vain confidence in yourself. I will do this. I am smart. The way I'm anointed, it's impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry. You are joking. Go and find out how many people see Jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church. It's not because they are going to hell. If it does not give you these keys. It says a man can receive nothing except it is given. If it is not given to you, you can't have it. It's impossible. What an awesome God you are. You're an awesome, awesome what an awesome God you are You're an awesome Number three Ready? The third key Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling God's word in his life man will always have a role to play I'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt. Uh -huh, listen. Diligently hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord. Thy God. To observe. Pay attention. Then number two. To do. All his commandments. Which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will do what? 
set thee on high above all nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shall hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shall hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God it didn't say if God speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by God no I believe in the sovereignty of God there are things that are written there is how God can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if I'm poor it's the will of God if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of God no 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 the will of God is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear I know the thoughts that I think towards you Jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end I know that something is wrong I can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be God no 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 I know his ways it's not a mystery I know there are challenges I know there is a fullness of affliction I know there are seasons but I also know that the times are in the hands of God he said until the word of the Lord came to him the word of the Lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of God with man you don't suffer forever no sir understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce I won't sit down and say it's the will of God he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck I'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the Lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of God everyone say I have a role say it loud I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if I live this year and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place 
the day God wants to change I know my God he will arise you know your God but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you God will deliver me you people should just keep watching no there is what you must do good master what shall I do to be saved that's why the man was rich what shall I do he knew he had a role to play not all God save me that's what the other guy said on the cross we are here it's true we are thieves but what did you even say and Jesus looked at him the other one said look we are seen as Lord we take responsibility say you you will be with me this day in paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility I I detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise is up to God in partnership with my cooperation still on this point I want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about God is he clarifies what role you have to play Moses stretch forth your rod it is a Moses just do whatever you want to do I'm just there no stretch forth your rod Jericho Joshua tell the people to go around Jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific rule Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with God but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in God Proverbs 4 verse 7 let's look at it Proverbs 4 verse 7 let's turn it from here for time's sake Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it wisdom tells you to cook understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients wisdom tells you you have a great destiny understanding tells you the path to take that's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction I'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when I tell you let's walk together and we get to a place I say okay move with me that's guidance the Word of God both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so God shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone God with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight 
is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock i tell you people are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have results is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience tithing does not mean you love god tithing just means you are obedient because an exact figure was given to you so i begin to study it i see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out and now i package my tithe with understanding so i come and while i'm singing i'm in the worship team and i'm trusting that every time i lift up my voice people get blessed i know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies i go and begin to study what is it about music and worship and i begin to find out ah this is how it works now on the strength of that understanding when i lift a song i'm lifting that song from an understanding that understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of god to flow through that song and you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step everybody is doing business to prosper you too you go and do it no what is the purpose of it Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 the Bible talks about those who are alienated alienated from the life of God through ignorance alienated from the life of god through ignorance through ignorance through ignorance are we together yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be working in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of god and the bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know. I'm not too proud to learn. I always want to know what am I doing wrongly. What, when I find knowledge that is relevant to me, I jump at it with all my heart. I know you have been taking action, but is it based on insight? Is it based on revelation? You saw people anointing themselves. You went to go and buy Goya oil. And you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and the spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation ephesians 1 17 paul speaking says for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality 
it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but I fasted 30 days I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how I study I write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. It's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study follow them the bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire in these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never i, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just start stop praying and say god is this how you leave me May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop 
regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 Jesus, thank you. Can you play the guitar too for me, Binga? Just follow him and play. God wants to do something in this place. First John 5 19. It says, And we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lie it it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness 
many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enenche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence i have factored in my life that every day of my life until jesus comes somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead somebody somewhere hates me enough to go so only god knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while i'm sleeping only god knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me i don't mean to insult your civilization but i'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what i'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask joe Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters i can look at a life and know that this life is under attack i have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times i counsel them i say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle i can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but i'm tired of this woman i have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man i'm tired i've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> Yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together. Not one day of joy. And she's planning to leave that guy. By Jesus, for sure. A man prays for the arrival of a child. And have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married? Not because the child did anything. From the day this child came, our finance doesn't stay again. What sort of a child is this? I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all i need to know is did you say yes to the lord jesus christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of god fail in pastor alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of god upon benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with satan he's a patient fellow 
don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now i know your life is under attack by your prayer life i see it you don't need a word of knowledge i know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you i see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you peter peter satan desire to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren i look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating I said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware 
do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and I, i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you're being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how you would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia <sighs> who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roar to the lord of lords when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy i want you to know that hell is about to break his bank over you and that is the time to arise before the throne there is the cross and you must know how to fight your way to victory this is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us this is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What? Why am I not getting a job? No job. No money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no balm that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry 
and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you too you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise the day you lock your door i'm telling you this i'm telling you this you lock your door and say i'm not going out until there is a change i'm blasting tongues the spirit of god you will feel your tongues changing you will know this is warfare prayer you may not know what you are saying your mind is not fruitful but at the point your spirit the anger of your situation is added to your prayer you are not laughing praying nonsense you are thinking of who is calling no you are praying because you know that you are breaking through and at a point joy mm -hmm, one of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how virtuous you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of god brothers and sisters victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit it didn't just happen you sit down there and allow satan to keep blackmailing what you represent every time you want to bless people people say don't trust benga i'm still suspecting him don't you know there are spirits that plant deception you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and say who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go haywire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack there are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family 
I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happened. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen. Don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and herbalism to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You miss your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting. I've been praying. I'm practicing this principle but I knew that it's like there was a resistance a resistance and that night I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping all of a sudden I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down David Ipiome was sitting down close to him two men I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth territorial wealth and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project I was standing on the stage I could not stand very well it was shaking and afterwards I came and Oyeriko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on it his feet when I dropped it he said no there's still some more I put my hand I dropped everything and he laid hands on me somebody took me to a room I opened the room and I saw dollars I saw pounds I saw naira that was the beginning when that happened koinonia exploded like a charm there are mysteries you don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you dance for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will the universe you will everyone January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have the, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now, I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me Baba like you tell somebody in Yoruba go you can go I've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it 
how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical two weeks he's still moving alive but he's dead he doesn't even know he's dead you see him and greet him how are you he's saying two weeks is my birthday and you laugh at him you killed him two weeks ago yet he's still walking and one day he, anything can kill him because he's already dead anything that's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit anything can prosper you it's not about what you do it's about something that has entered you already you are the universe you won't shed it in on 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 there are only three ways witchcraft operates. I will be teaching you next week. And then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory. But someone has learned something tonight. You have been wasting breakthroughs. You finish koinonia and sleep. You finish your prayer and sleep. And things happen in the realm of the spirit. You get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm. Don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest? You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around. No. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence I don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. We, we, I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open. You are not praying to edify your spirit. No. Every pending breakthrough. It has been declared. It's my season of trial. I have seen it in dreams. The Lord has confirmed it. I should be blessed. I'm not asking. I know it. It is a season. Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's a season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every 
stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every hiding must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You overcome. You overcome.
last prayer point I stop bad news I stop bad news it's not a suggestion it's not a negotiation you have declared it's my year of trial I stop bad news lift your voice and stop it lift your voice and stop it tired of bad news tired of disappointment I stop it I stop it have respect oh God to the covenant I stop bad news Listen. Never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. If you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represents what God wants to happen in your life now, and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance 
the fire of vengeance. I decree and declare every power that closed your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a power. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here, behind Shadul, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now, catch up now, financially, catch up now, spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now, catch up now. Listen, I don't know the chains that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. May those chains break now. May those chains break now. I pray for you, this night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. God is a God of signs. God is a God of signs. My God, show your people signs. Signs of their victory. Signs of their breakthrough. This is how to receive your portion. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how you receive what belongs to you. The devil will not give it willingly. No. Whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017, in spite of the fact that God has declared, you clap for others. Hold on. I'm not just saying maybe a casual. There is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of God but I'm saying there is nothing striking you cannot honestly say from January 1 till today 10th of March nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus except I be not sent of God in the name of Jesus according to the election of God's mercy and grace I prophesy to you in seven days from today in the name of the Lord God who called me Command breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help that lady, strange breakthroughs. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace. We're not doing anything online, leave all those things. Listen, 
but I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow. Listen. Every time people celebrate birthdays, they reenact what brought the birthday. Correct? If a king is celebrating birthday, he releases prisoners to prove he's a king. I want to place a prophetic word. Malatos Skadabaria. I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me. The one who revealed to me. That I saw a generation crying. I saw men languishing. The one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me. I invoke the covenant of my altar that those kata breast kata. I invoke the covenant of my altar. Oh God arise. Answer by the covenant I have with you. Tomorrow 11 March, shake the nations. Change your people. In the name of Jesus, I place my covenant with God upon your life. Let there be strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. All over. Hear me. All those connected to this grace. All those connected to this ministry. Following online. I'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow. I declare it a day of strange miracles, strange encounters, strange miracles, strange restoration, strange impartation. I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case, I want you. This is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hands you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go. There is just about two hours. I declare, if they enter tomorrow, holding your destiny, I stand and I command the earth to take their body. I say this in 
the name of Jesus, anyone who will not let you go, I say it again, if they cross 12 midnight, this night, I command the earth to take their bodies. your hands and give him praise. We're out of time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep standing, everyone. We're out of time. But pay attention. This was worth it. I tell you, you will return with strange breakthroughs. Strange breakthroughs. Aside from those under the anointing, There are people here, Overflow 1 and Overflow across the road, listening to me online. What a joy to be part of this meeting. We are teaching on spiritual intelligence. Manipulating mysteries to produce results for people. You are here and you have never truly, listen, please listen, those outside. You have never truly, genuinely, genuinely, handed your life to jesus you may have come for an altar call but you have never please don't let this night pass you by there is a window of opportunity in a strange way there are others you are saying man of god i want to rededicate my life before this 12 midnight i want as the angels of god distribute realities may i be found worthy by the blood so I want to pray for you wherever you are, please, please, before we celebrate the year of a man, the year of dominion through the voice of men, I pray for you that you will not harden your heart as you hear his voice. You want to rededicate your life, you want to give your heart to Jesus wherever you are. Please, I want you to run, we have a few minutes, inside and outside. Probably you came from far someone told you to come for this meeting and while you are listening you may even be a whole family and jesus is saying come out that's why i ask you to come here don't harden your voice remember it will always take god and a man keep coming god bless you god bless you there are people inside here follow them quickly don't wait until someone comes this is a rescue keep coming god bless you this is not all of them this night there are so many outside win that war tonight God is opening you up to a world of opportunity. Please, if you're coming, keep coming. Keep coming. The overflow outside, you can follow the main door. Quickly, keep coming. God bless you. What a night. Koinoni, are you celebrating them? Your sacrifice of praise to God. Your sacrifice of praise. Don't sit back. The fact that you are uneasy is a sign God is saying, come out. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't say they are watching me. Everyone is, is walking his own salvation with fear and trembling. But apostle, you don't know what I've done. Can I still come? Join them quickly. Join them. I don't care what you have done. Join them quickly. Man of God, will you still receive me? I insulted church. I insulted men of God. Join them. He still loves you and he's giving you a new beginning. He's giving you a new beginning. Hallelujah. I salute your courage to come out here and stand before the Lord. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Some of you are rededicating your life genuinely. You are tired of not being serious with God. It doesn't matter what category. You are most welcome. I want you to lift your right hand and say this passionately. You are not reciting a poem say this sincerely if you are still coming rush and come and catch up with them if you are still coming rush and come and catch up with them say after me jesus is in this place say jesus i know you are crying but try to say it say jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life I'm tired of rebellion. 
I'm tired of mismanaging my life. I hand it over to you now. I receive Jesus now into my heart to be my Lord and personal Savior from tonight till forever. I declare that you are my Lord. Eternal life is mine right now. I receive the grace to move forward and to live for Jesus. Keep your hands lifted and I pray for you. Father, look at the ones you died for. They lift their hands to you in total surrender. Lord, I ask that this decision will be genuine. I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the power of sin, hell and the flesh is broken over your life. From today you receive a fresh grace and a fresh fire to live for Jesus all the days of your life. I declare forward ever, backward never. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whoever holds your destiny must let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now look at me. It is important not just for you to give your heart to Jesus, but to find yourself within the company of believers. Keeping a kingdom community is the key to sustaining kingdom values. You can't do it alone. You need to be part of a family of believers that can help you. We are here every Fridays. Make sure that you join us. There's someone waving his or her hands. Um, there's someone waving his hands on behalf of the ushers. They are going to welcome you. All I want you to do is to just take this way. Just follow them. And please give your correct details. We are going to get in touch with you. And we'll follow up. Help that lady under the anointing. We will follow up with you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, your life will never be the same. God bless you. Just follow the gentleman. God bless you. Koinonia, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.